Hey White Rook 85. Well it's time to change out the tires on the 2017 Jeep Grand Cherokee with the Trailhawk package. Uh, on here right now I got the Goodyear Wrangler All-Terrain Adventures with Kevlar. Uh, they've been a pretty good tire for me. Uh, they are the size 265 60 R18s. No real issues with them, uh, no real chipping on the tires, no coming apart, anything like that. But uh, they've kind of let me down in the past a little bit. Solid tires, good ride, good gas mileage, but just a couple times they've let me down. Up the cabin, sometimes we pull in, we use the area right near the generator there as a circular driveway. And just going up that slight hill, making that turn, I was doing a lot of spins and Eric had to come and uh, use the four-wheeler to, to pull a little bit so I could actually make that turn. Once I got going straight, it was fine, but it was because I think I was angling around. And just, these are all-terrain tires, but that just they just did not dig in in the snow like I liked. That was a couple years back too when that happened. Uh, Sean and I were coming back from deer camp last year, a little bit of snow here. And I was on uh, coming out of Wellsboro and I could tell the road was getting a little bit squirrely and I, I just knew I needed new tires at that point. Getting into you know spring summertime now I probably could run these probably for another 5,000 miles and get them right down to the get right down to the uh, to the block where it, it tells you you need one but I uh, wanted to go ahead and change them out now. Uh, was, I looked around I did a lot of searching on what to go to. I wanted something else besides Goodyear uh, that was going to give me a little bit more confidence in the snow, rain, but provide that same smooth ride and not rob any gas mileage. Well these are the, the Goodyears and you can see there's no real chipping in here, there's no pitting, there's no peeling of the, of the uh, rubber or anything like that so they were pretty good. I get 52,400 and some miles on there probably could have got 57 58 out of them and i think they were a 60,000 mile tire we're right about three 30 seconds and all sides about three 30 seconds we're selling all sides as you can see you go a little bit more than that you're in the red and you're probably not going to pass inspection i was looking at the these tires the uh, bf goodridge all terrain KO2, Firestone Destination, uh, AT2, Toyo Open Country, AT3, Falcon Wild Peak, uh, AT3W also. And finally came down to, I was looking for something that was going to be a nice happy medium for me. It's very similar to this tire, but a little bit more confidence. So I decided on the Continental Terrain Contact ATs. Uh, all those other tires except for one all back ordered even the continentals were back ordered tire rack all my local shop all these tires except that firestone destination at2s were all back ordered so if you're looking for tires now maybe you, you think you're going to need tires in the future you might want to start looking now because it may take some time to get them in you may want to order them and uh, go ahead and get them in but i wanted something quiet fuel efficient highway tire AT tire, uh, some off-road use. I don't. We don't go off off-road too much. A little bit of hunting here or there, up the cabin, uh, but good in in wet and snow. So those Continental Terrain Contact AT that I finally decided on. I think they're going to be the ones. Looked around, looked around, looked around on the internet. Found them on TireBuyer.com, and uh, they were. It was. They actually had them in stock over in Jersey. They ship them down to my local AAA installation center that does uh, some minor car repairs, uh, oil changes, you know, spark plugs, things like that, batteries. But they also install tires, so I had them shipped down there, and we'll, we'll get them installed on that. But these Continental Terrain Contact ATs, I think, are going to be a nice blend of a nice highway tire, quiet tire, fuel-efficient tire, but also give me a little bit more... Uh, tra tread than these did. Even when these were new, uh, the tread, and again, like I, I mentioned before, slipped a little bit, and I just didn't uh, didn't care for that. What I didn't want is a noisy tire, 
a sloppy tire going around curves and things like that that just didn't have the uh, the traction that I wanted just I mean, again because most of these uh, cars most of the Grand Cherokees not taken off-road probably 5% go off-road a lot the other 95 are kind of like me you're a little bit of a medium of the road person uh, off-road every once in a while but a lot of on the road to the store to the relatives house rides up to the cabin highway rides things like that so that's uh, I wanted a nice kind of a tire that kind of blended all those things in tomorrow I have an appointment nine o'clock get these installed so let's go up and uh, and see what they're doing up there well here we are at AAA take about an hour hour 15 to get those installed uh, about about sixty dollars to get the installed done and uh, we'll head back to the park well here we are back two days later after getting the tires on uh, tires on yesterday I didn't come out a little bit uh, windy and cold yesterday so I didn't end up coming back uh, it gave me a chance to get a few more miles on the tires and I'm up to about uh, 75 or so and so far so good I'm really liking these Continental Train Contact ATs uh, they really seem to be a nice tire uh, rolls very well I think I may pick up a, a little bit of gas mileage how much is it going to be could only be maybe a, a quarter of a of a mile a gallon it seems like it does roll easier uh, stopping is good went through some curves curves very good haven't been in the rain and uh, forecast uh, no snow on the forecast here uh, we're going to be in the 50s during the day for for a while uh, so not sure not sure how they're going to be in snow but they have some nice blocks in there they have some nice grooves i did notice that it was picking some stones up and flinging them into the wheel well i've heard a couple hit the wheel well in the back over here uh, but that's uh, that's okay especially for a new tire that's going to do that really uh, really liked uh, the choice that i made again the the continental train contact ats they ended up costing me 7.99 and uh, i paid for it i paid for the installation no comp or anything like that so it was my choice my decision to get these uh, nobody nobody assisted me or or pushed me in a certain direction to get a certain tire. So I think these are a good choice. If you have a Grand Cherokee like this, I think these are a good choice if you want a, a intermediate tire. These are not three peak snowflake rated. So you don't have that. So if, so if you're in a little bit uh, no, more Northern climate than we are, you might want to look for something that has uh, the three peak certified, but there, they seem to be, there's, there's gotta be a funny reason why they're not because they really look to be almost the same as some of these other ones. Uh, so far, I'm really happy. I think uh, the outside, they look a little bit more aggressive, I think, than the uh, Goodyear's did. Let's take a look at this side-by-side uh, -side comparison or top-bottom comparison and, and see how they are. Uh, I think they look pretty, pretty good tire. Uh, they do come in a white letter, uh, which would actually look good on, I think, with the white and black that I have on here. Maybe it wouldn't uh, look quite so good on some of the other colors, but this one it would have looked fine, but that it wasn't available. Uh, but uh, let, me, let me turn this tire, and uh, we'll take a look at the tread a little bit, and uh, we'll wrap this up. Turn the wheel a little bit, also lifted it up. The, this trail hawk has the ability to, to uh, raise itself up a few inches when you're going over the uh, rocks and things like that. Figure it'd be easier to see these tires, so let's get a close up on them now. Well, here you can see has this nice grooves in here. Uh, this is for going through water, and that should evacuate that water out of these tires really nice. Eliminate that hydroplaning. A lot of nice uh, grooves and tread block uh, to uh, to give you some nice traction. Uh, the outer tread block here, it is connected. There's a small small strip of rubber in here where it's all connected and uh, that gives you some nice feel through the turns it kind of eliminates the sloppiness of a tire when you have this uh, tr outer tread bo block all connected and uh, these outer blocks a little bit different each one a little bit different in size that al also helps with the quietness of the tire so that's one of the things that Continental does and I think a lot of the other tires do to try to eliminate that uh, harmonic that you get if you, if you do if everything's the same in there. Uh, some nice siping, uh, these the grooves in the tires, uh, nice siping in here to uh, to give you a lot of traction when uh, 
when you really need it, wet and snow. Again, not going to be able to get out in the snow, possibly Michigan, but uh, for right now, uh, we'll just have to check the dry and wet, wet. But everything so far seems to be pretty good. This seems to be a great tire for me. So I think this was a good choice uh, for this particular vehicle. Uh, if you're in the market, you can find them. Uh, remember, a little bit tough, so uh, you may want to start checking if you think you're going to need them soon. But a good tire, looks good, so far so good, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Good traction, a little bit quieter than the Goodyear's, and uh, I think they're going to be a little bit more grippier when I have to get up to the cabin. So this White Rook 85 with the uh, Continental Train Contact 18, I'll catch you next time.